Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is the day where I clean up all of my birds stuff. I clean up their poop, I clean up all of their perches and scrub those off and I clean up the gym. So I thought that I would just film myself putting all of their perches and toys back in the cage so that if you're new to bird owning you can kind of see how to rearrange things to where they work best or see what type of toys and perches I use um, or if you just want to watch me put toys in the cage because for some reason that's kind of fun to watch then you can do that too so that's what we're going to be doing today all right so the first thing i usually start off with is the perches just so that i can put toys around the perches so i think it's always smartest just to start off with the perches because then you can put things around them in the way that you like and they're kind of the more important part of the cage anyways so might as well start off with those bless you my goodness So I just finished all the perches, and now what I think I'm going to... Ooh, man, that lighting is bad. Um, now what I'm going to do is put in their little food bowl holders. So these right here, and I usually just put these next to perches. So I have two for their food dishes, because um, I have to separate their food, and then I have one for their water, so I'm just going to put those in now. going to put in a rope perch really quick because I have a shorter one on their gym that I just want to put in the cage as well so I'm going to do that as well. quick tips for you guys um actually let me grab a burb really quick which burb wants to come so a few quick tips for you guys when you are setting up your bird's cage is number one the biggest thing is do not overlap perches because if you do you will have a nightmare cleaning because your burbs will poop on the perches below and uh, you'll have little poop castles on your perches and those are not fun to clean up Secondly, I would place your water dishes and food dishes slightly higher than the perch itself so that your bird can't like hang its tail or bottom over it and poop into the dish. That has happened sometimes, so make sure you're putting your food dishes a little bit higher than the perches themselves. And the second thing, or third actually, would just be to experiment with some things. Get creative with your perching. Um, Put perches all over the cage, try and utilize the entire cage space, not just the uh, top of the cage, because you want your bird to be using the entire cage and not just the top. So just experiment with, experiment with some things. You probably saw me experimenting a lot with this rope behind me. Just kind of trying to do something different for them. Birds really, really like variety. So the more variety you can give your bird by perch variation or different places you could put things or anything new, your bird will really find that mentally stimulating and enjoy that. And there's Mo. He show up. So yeah, anything that your bird will really enjoy, um, just experiment with some things. Um, next, I am going to put in the toys, which is going to be fun. That's always a fun part. It's the best part. Right, Winnie? Yeah. Also, if you're wondering why I put a rope in my perch, I usually don't recommend putting rope perches in your cage. This rope is homemade. It's made out of sisal rope, and it is 100% perfect for and safe for birds because it is made out of sisal rope. I usually don't recommend them because they're made out of cotton rope, and birds can ingest the cotton fibers, and they can get a crop infection from that. But since this is made out of uh, 
sisal rope. It is all natural, and if they do ingest it, it will break down in their bodies, and they'll be completely fine. Um, but if you do uh, want to incorporate a rope perch into your cage, cotton ropes are okay. You just want to make sure that they are fraying so your bird's toenails can't get caught in them. You also want to make sure that your birds are not chewing on them. If your birds are chewing on them, you want to remove them and go for some natural like this ice cream. So now we're going to do toys. Sorry about that. I forgot to record. Um, I put this toy right here. That's all I've done. I swear. Now I'm going to put in these Planet Pleasure toys. Alright, so I just added two more perches. I put one right here and one right here. I just had to grab them off the gym, but the my window was open, so I had to put the birds away and then grab them off the gym and let the birds back out. It was a whole mess. Anyways, so now I'm just going to give you a really quick look around of the cage. So, um, in terms of toys, I really recommend all natural toys. I do have one toy in here. Well, it's like a little cluster of toys. that does have some plastic and metals on it. Um, Mo really likes those kind of toys, so I do have one of those toys in there for him. And um, But yeah, I really, really recommend uh, all natural toys so that your birds can destroy them, and that is very mentally stimulating. If you want to know more about this, I have more videos about toys on my channel that you can go check out, as well as there's lots of other videos that you can go check out about toys, so I'm not going to talk forever about those. Um, but in terms of toy placement, toy placement is very important, and it's actually one of the main reasons that sometimes birds won't play with toys, is because of the placement. So you really want to place your toys where they're easy to reach for your birds. If your bird isn't really playing with a toy, um, and you want it to start playing with a toy, then put it in a position where your bird is constantly sitting. Maybe you notice your bird sitting in a certain spot, like they have a favorite spot to sit in or perch it or preen in or whatever. Put a toy there and see if your bird will start using it. Because sometimes bird owners will just place toys where they think it looks aesthetic or they, um, I don't know, maybe they just don't know where to put the toys because they don't know where their bird likes. So generally speaking, I would say put a toy kind of near a perch. So a good spot for a toy would be like right here on the wall, hanging from the wall, so they can easily access it from this perch, access it from this perch. So as you can see, as I show you around, I have toys almost on in the middle of every perch. So it's really, really good for your bird to be able to have a toy at every perch. And if your bird is struggling playing with toys, Maybe toy placement is an issue, and you should try moving toys around. Speaking of moving toys around, it's very important to move your toys around, as well as your perches, at least once a week, because this will mentally stimulate your bird and give them healthier interactions with their cage. It's really, really boring if they are in their cage with the same toys, in the same place, all at the same time. It's really, really boring for your bird. They get used to things. It's just like a human brain. If you have the same thing, the same look, the same room, all the time, you're going to get very, very bored. So you want to be constantly rotating things around. I have two sets of toys. So I have one set in a bag in my closet, and then I have one set that's out on my gym in the cage. And every couple of months, I'll rotate that set so they're constantly getting new toys. But once a week, I'll rotate their perches and toys within the cage. So... Sometimes their toys will be on the gym, certain toys will be on the gym, sometimes certain toys will be on the cage, sometimes there will be a mix. Um, perches, I usually exchange perches from the gym and perches from the cage so that the perches are different. So you just want to make things look different for your birds so that they can have a better time and it is way more healthy for your bird. And it solves a lot of those boredom problems and it can even solve those screaming problems that we all seem to have. Um, so now I'm going to show you around the cage, and you can kind of see what I've done, how I've placed the toys, food bowls, all that. So that's what we're going to do now. Alright, so starting off, we have the perch here and a food bowl here. I like to have one perch on the outside of the cage, so this makes it easy. Open the door, and the perch is on the outside of the cage. It gives the birds another place to perch on outside of the cage, as well as an easily accessible food bowl. You really want to place food bowls where they're easy for you to reach. Um, so here would be a food bowl. This one's a little bit trickier to reach right here. But no big deal, I can get that one. So I'll probably put water here, food, and then food, just to kind of separate their food a little bit. 
Um, so here's their water. I have a little mineral block right here. Here is a perch, and as you can see here, the perch is lower than the food dish so that they can't get their tails or butts in there. Um, here's that one toy that I was talking about that had some plastic and metals on it. Mo really enjoys this, although it does have a little wicker ball that they destroy. Um, and as you can see, it's placed on this perch. Going over here, I have a clump of Planet Pleasures toys placed on this perch. Um, I did something kind of different with my uh, rope perch this time. I kind of made it this weird, like, ah, there we go. I made it this weird shape here where it kind of goes this way and then this way and then back there. Um, and that has a toy hanging back there. And then over here, we have a toy in the middle of the perch there, perch down here. And what I really like to do is put a toy in the middle of a perch up here and then put a perch below it so they can reach it from this perch as well and this perch. And that makes it really easy. Um, and then right over here, I've got a perch with one of their favorite toys right in the middle of it there. Again, another perch up here being able to reach the same toy. And all the way back there, you can see I have a bird kebab with a perch. And this is a double Java perch here. And as you can see, I can put that in the middle so they can access it from both sides of the perch. Bruh. So I usually like to keep eh, maybe about five or six or seven toys in the cage at one time. I don't like to have too many toys. I don't want them to feel crowded in here. Same thing with perches. I want to give them enough room to be able to fly around and stuff. So yeah, that's my setup. And then their gym is a whole different story. So maybe I'll do that next time. But yeah, that is their setup. All right, guys. So that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, that's it. We'll see you in the next video.